How's it going guys? I'm Danny and this week we are taking a look at my home course. This is Burns Park Blue Course in North Little Rock, Arkansas. It's a little bit longer than... Ooh, great missed putt there. Okay, it's a little bit longer than most of the courses in the area. There's not quite as many trees and it really requires a lot of different shots. You really got to bring your whole bag when you're coming to play this course. All right, hole one. Hole one is 430 foot dead straight. I'm just guessing at most of these distances out here. I'm probably guessing my guess is better than the T-signs. But anyway, you want to throw this one dead straight with a little bit of right finish to try and get around these trees. You can try and throw a hyzer, but that's just a play for three. Generally, if you, if you kick something late, you're going to end up with this for an upshot, and it's usually a three. Hole two here really sets up good for a forehand flex shot. There's, a, there's sort of a gap to hit, and one tree in the middle of the hole. Ideally, you would get a little bit more left movement on this disc because if you finish too hard right, you're going to end up in those bushes. There is a backhand turnover line here, but I really think it's too tight. I like throwing the forehand here just to get some flex. So I, ideally, though, I'd have a straighter finish. All right, hole three here. There are two backhand tunnel shots, but I just like to take a forehand and throw it around everything. Not my best forehand, that's why it's a little bit short, but if you can get it sort of straight past all that, there are some pine needles that it'll skip on towards the basket. Hole four, this is the first chance you get to really air one out. There is that creek on the right that is OB, but the uh, the trick here is to really challenge that. You want to throw something that's going to get that right side down and move to that right, but it's going to fade and get in front of the basket. If you throw the right shot here, you are left with a death putt, though. Hole five, this has the fence of death on the left. Don't throw anything that goes over that fence or you're probably not going to get back. The trick here is to get that right side down, just like on hole four. But here you want to keep it a little bit higher and throw something a little bit more stable so it'll come back at the end. Mine just sort of pitched out to this grassy area here where most people end up. And I have a jump putt at it, but I had to jump over a creek and it, uh, it didn't really work out that way. Hole six, here lots of people throw a forehand through that gap, but I find that flirts with that fence just a little bit too much. There is a straight backhand, but that can kick over. So I just throw a hyzer out here and stand right in front of the camera. Ooh, for the putt too, good, good, good job. Seven, this has still got that fence on the left, but uh, I like to throw just a backhand down this right side, try and miss that big oak tree on the right side. If you go down the left at all, you're either flirting with the fence or there is a road on the right over here. I will occasionally go out on a big skip shot over that road if the wind is right. That's a fun shot to throw, but not exactly consistent. Hole eight here, 280, the road on the left is OB. There is a creek on the right of the basket, so sometimes this place is an island but it's just an easy forehand. If you just throw a flat shot with the forehand, even if you don't have a ton of power, it'll probably get there. It's not hard to reach, but the, uh, the backhand line is pretty tricky here. Hole nine, 485, this is a longer hole and there's not really a good gap to get there. So I like to just throw hard and hope I miss everything. Here I didn't and I'm off to the left, which is kind of the spot you wanna be. That parking lot is OB, but when, if you're out to the left, you have lots of room just to pump out a nice forehand up shot. I'm left about 150 feet here. Hole 10, this is a tunnel shot off the tee with a good fade. I saw this one off a little bit. I should have thrown it a little bit less hyzer. The only OB here is if you go too straight. So if you throw something stable, you're gonna be set. It's generally a fairly overstable driver, just thrown flat. Uh, you see, I saw mine off. I was a bit short here, I missed the putt and came back. Hole 11 here, this hole is straight. You wanna throw a str shot straight out your hands, straight down the fairway with a straight fade. Usually I throw an Emac Truth here, but uh, this is an escape and you can see, I just went a little past it and a little bit to the left. Well, I made the putt, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what? You just threw your putter on the ground. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hole 12, this one is a fun hole. I like throwing a mid-range here just because it's not gonna fade as much. You really have to hit a gap off the tee. It's pretty tight there, but if you, uh, if you throw something that hits that gap, generally you'll fade towards the basket. But if you throw a high-speed driver, you might skip too much on these pine needles. This green is pretty quick. Hole 13, this is a nice easy forehand. You wanna throw something that's gonna penetrate fairly straight before it fades, but if you're throwing something with that right fade on it, it's probably gonna to skip towards the basket. And the basket is pretty far to the right. You see, I didn't even get far enough right with that forehand, so throwing a turnover isn't exactly viable. Hole 14 here, this is a long and straight hole. Usually I'll throw an Emac Truth here too. Just try and get something past all these trees that's not gonna to fade too much. You can see this skips way to the left, and I walk in front of the camera again. 
But if you throw something faster, it's gonna it's gonna skip a lot and, and generally get, not get you as close to the basket. No oh, good putt. 15. I deuced this hole the first ever tournament I played. I always brag about that. Anyway, it's a tight gap off the tee, 395 foot, a little bit uphill. There is a metal pole down there that makes a really cool sound if you hit it. Stand in front of the camera again, why don't you just go right ahead? Anyway, um, there's OB long, you really don't want to be there, but if you can throw a straight shot, 395 feet, this should be a birdie. Hole 16, there's OB on the road to the left, OB in the creek to the right. You just kind of want to throw something straight and let it flex through this gap. I got the nose up here a little bit, so I'm about 60 foot short, and I thought I made this putt. Seventeen. This is the first time I ever threw 300 feet it was on this hole. I feel like a Stratus or something. Anyway, I'm just throwing a warden here. Nice stable warden. Pump it out to the right. Wide open. There's OB left, OB right, but you really shouldn't be there. It's just to get in your head. OB long too. Just throw a nice easy putter mid-range and make your putt. Hole 18, 470 foot. This is a long hole, but you should be able to just throw something and normally Normally it can get through the trees. The trees aren't as thick as they look. You can bail out to the left and pitch up and take a nice easy three, but I just throw something fairly far and hope I have a jump putt look at it. I don't really hear, so I just pitch up and, and take my three. Or four, as the case may be. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm gonna do a couple other courses in the area. Um, if you're on Facebook, check out YouTube. If you're on YouTube, check out Facebook. And until next time, remember, slow is smooth and smooth is far.